What's up, brownies? Aisha and Shanique here, and guess what we've been doing to hair? Absolutely nothing. This hairstyle we did exactly 50 days ago. Yes, 50 days ago, which equals seven weeks, which is not too bad because when you think of it, when you go get your hair braided, you wear it for about six to eight weeks. So these twists have lasted her for 50 days, and today it is time for them to go. So I'm going to wash them out. I'm showing you here how they look, even though she's had them for approximately seven weeks they don't look really bad because most of the time we kind of had it up in two ponytails so this is what it's looking like on day 50 and it's time to wash it out today I'm going to be using a line of products called Mixtina I have used this line before you can check it out in the video above um, I do love the saying on the bottle live your truth embrace your heritage this line of product was made for mixed multi-ethnic and multicultural hair whichever one appropriately defines your locks um, this is great for um, hair 2c 3a through c and 4a through c curl patterns um, i do find this shampoo very cleansing to a shade's hair um, it does a good job of cleaning it and not making it feel totally dry and stripped of its moisture which is one of the main things i look for in a shampoo i want to make sure it's sulfate free and that is not totally stripping her hair and making it feel dry and brittle and this shampoo does just that cleanses it without stripping that's always a number one factor um, on the tips of how I am shampooing her hair the front section I'm taking it down from the twist to make sure I get it totally thoroughly clean and then um, the rear section I'm going to wash it with her twist still in to make the process easier so it won't take so long to wash condition and detangle her hair now that this first section has been cleansed, I am just rinsing the shampoo out and then I'm going to twist it back up and I'm going to repeat these steps through the front section of her head and now I'm going to show you how I am doing the rear with the twist still in. First I am saturating it with water making sure every single last one of her twists is totally, totally dripping wet. And because her hair is so thick and it is in twist, it takes a minute for me to do that. So it's very important for me to make sure that her hair is totally saturated with water before I apply the shampoo. Now I'm going to add the shampoo, making sure I focus on her scalp. I want to make sure I get it really, really clean. So I'm going to go through each and every one of her squares, you know, which is how her twists are in. And I'm going to make sure that every last one of them are clean. And once I focus on each twist, then I am going to focus on her actual, um, the actual twist within itself. I am going to make sure they are clean as well, simply because she's had this hairstyle in for a while. And I have been adding the styling lotion to it to keep it moisturized. So to make sure that I cleanse all of that, from her hair I am going to focus on those twists as well and once I'm sure they are clean I'm going to rinse the shampoo out of her hair those of you who have daughters with very thick hair you can totally appreciate washing the hair with the twist in it makes all the difference in the world in saving time on washing within itself and especially the de detangling process it saves so so very much time now i'm going to condition her hair your curls are wondrous you are an original using the mixtina conditioner and i'm going to use the very same steps that i did previously as um, washing the only difference is once i have the conditioner in and her hair is fully coated i am going to finger detangle each section and once each section has been thoroughly finger detangled then i am going to take my not genie brush and i'm going to brush through making sure that her hair is completely tangle free and once i do that while the conditioner is still in i'm going to twist her hair back up and i'm going to repeat this for all of the sections in the front of her hair 
and for the rear section I'm going to deal with that a little differently I'm just going to add the conditioner you know while the twists are in just as we did the shampoo and I'm going to make sure all of her twists are fully coated with the conditioner from her scalp all the way to her ends and once I'm satisfied that her hair is fully coated then I am going to rinse the conditioner out with all of her twists in and what this does is make is it makes it so very much easier to detangle you don't have um, all of the knots and tangles in there and um, it just makes it a very easy process especially when you're dealing with a child that has a lot of hair and a child that is also tender headed this conditioner did a good job of softening her hair it also made it easy to run my fingers through and detangle this conditioner is very thick in consistency so if you like a thick conditioner you would probably like this product I, overall I thought it did a good job of conditioning her hair for those of you who always ask me how in the world do I um, maintain a shade's length, how do I get her hair to grow, um, one of my main tips is what you just saw me do. I will put in a protective style and keep it in until her hair is crying, please free me. Um, not literally that serious, but I put styles in or put her hair in hairstyles that will last for four to eight weeks and I make sure that I keep it moisturized while it's in that style but one of the top keys is low manipulation you know so um, as you have seen me do here I try to do my best not to manipulate her hair a lot but at the same time make sure that it stays moisturized with whatever hairstyle you choose to put her hair in so um, that's tip number one so this is the final result of her hair thank you guys so much for checking out this wash day video we hope you enjoyed it be sure you subscribe to our channel we love to have you every single week and make sure you check out our new online boutique browniegirls.boutique and we'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching brownies bye Show, show, show.